Hey guys, it's me again, Smile Today, Tears Tomorrow. And I figured I'd come back with an update on my sister lock dilemma. Um, I have come to a decision, and I don't think I've told anybody yet. Um, <clears throat> anybody on YouTube, that is. Um, what I have done. This was kind of a hard decision, but an easy one. You know, mixed in together. It was a lot, lots of pros, lots of cons. And... Let me first start off by saying, actually, let me show you what I'm doing first. And don't laugh because it looks like a hot mess, but and it's going to take a long time. But, um, <laughs> here we go. I have started to take out my sister locks here. If you can see that. <gasps> Excuse me. I have decided to take them out and start all over again with my traditional locks. Why, you say? Was that a waste of money? I mean, it was a lot of waste of money, you say? It was a lot of waste of time, you might say. Um, let me give you the cons first. The cons to taking this out was, yeah, I kind of sort of did waste a lot of money, but when you think about it and put it into perspective, I was paying for something that I could actually see. So it wasn't kind of like, kind of like, um, going to McDonald's or Subway or something and eating what I paid for and not being able to see it later on. I paid the money to get my hair done and I had sister locks for nine months. So it wasn't like it was really a waste of money because um, I really enjoyed it. Um, another pro to it was, I'm sorry, another con was, was that a con that I told you about? I don't know. <laughs> but another con was um, the fact that you know, I did have to dish out all that money. I'm, you know, not, um, I'm just not wanting to dish out that much money to get my hair done every four weeks. And the whole point, let me, let me backtrack a little bit. Let me tell you, I've been natural for three years. I wonder if that was sweetie. I've been natural for three years. And before I was natural, I was permed, obviously. And, um, I didn't spend nearly as much money on my hair as I'm doing now on my sister locks. I would get a perm every six to eight weeks and it would be maybe $60 once in a while because I usually maintained it myself, permed my hair myself. So in comparison to when I was permed, I'm actually paying a whole chunk, a lot of more money <laughs> than when I was um, permed. Another thing is, and when I went natural, I didn't spend not a dime. I mean, I maybe paid the person to, you know, cut my hair, but that was like $20, you know, for my big chop. But, um, yeah, I went from spending $65 maybe every eight weeks to spending nothing on my hair for a straight three years to spending tons of money on my hair. And I'm not saying sister locks aren't worth it, but right now they're not for me. They're not, um, feasible. And, um, I am a stay at home mom. And Sweetie asked me, well, do you still feel like you would feel this way if you had a job and still, you know, was paying for it? Yes, I would still just feel this way because I want to I want to be free. I want my journey to be free. Not as far as free in two aspects. Free as in I can maintain it myself. This is like my baby, like my project is mine. I want to do it myself. I want to be hands on and free as in um, just free, liberating. Like I don't I'm not in bondage with my hair. I'm not, um, I'm not, uh, lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, just, just free, completely free. And I don't want to have to depend on somebody to, um, do my hair. Now, granted, I could have taken a sister lock class to, um, maintain them myself. And a sister lock class, sister lock class itself was, I want to say $300, but you can't, take the class unless you're six months into your journey. I'm nine months into my journey and I really wasn't going to pay $300 to go take a sister lock class. And then for me to maintain 540 40 locks, I'm not that patient at all, especially with them being so small and me risking um, potentially damaging my hair because I'm kind of an amateur and you know I would probably be rushing because I didn't want to do 540 locks on my own. So... Yeah, I guess it was a matter of patience and, um, patience and patience. <laughs> now, I am going to maintain my traditional locks, but 
uh, based off of me having them a few other times, it took nowhere as long as it did, as it does for me to get my sister locks retightened. And it was way less than 540. I want to say I had 100 plus, which is a lot less. And um, I've learned a lot on YouTube about retwisting locks. I mean, there are several ways to, to retwist them. Um, putting interlocking aside, as far as twisting them, you know, palm rolling them, there's a few people on YouTube where I've seen them just, you know, twisted and it's just so simple, you know, I'm just like in awe, like, man, I wish I could do that myself. And I am going to do it myself. But, yeah, I figured I'd keep you guys posted on that. Um, don't mind the dirty laundry. I'm in my son's room. And, you know, boys can be kind of, you know, on the messy side. <laughs> but anyway, um, oh yeah, another thing. I was thinking about starting another channel just for my lock journey. You know, my this channel right here has so much stuff going on. Um, I first started out with this channel, you know, with my natural hair journey. So those old videos are back there. Then I started, you know, just blogging, just being me and family stuff and, you know, pranks on my family and stuff. Then I went to my weight loss journey. Then I went to my lock journey. Then I'm just, you know, the channel is kind of sort of all over the place and I'm not wanting to shut it down. I'm just wanting to put my lock journey in a different light and um, get out there with the other locked people. Um, but the thing is, I can't come up with a name. I have no idea. My children, in all their, uh, comedic ways, um, decided, how about you name it Locks Today, or what is it? Locks On, Locks Off, because I'm, I have my locks and then I take them out and smart out of, smart out of kids. And, um, Lock Today, Gone Tomorrow, or something like that. I think Coley said that, but yeah, she's a funster, gangster gal. But anyway, yeah, if you can come up with some things you think I should name my channel, just let me know. And when I do make it, would you please put me out there as far as um, being a part of the law community? Because I want to be a part of it too. But anyway, I'm going to go. I'm recording this once again on my iPhone and I'm at 725. Something's wrong with my camera, something's wrong with my laptop, something wrong with everything. And it's like, Amy, is this a sign that you should shut your account down? But I'm going to be persistent and push on and keep on keeping on. But, um, yeah, that's that. You can say bye-bye. And then I'm, oh my gosh, it's taking me forever to take these out. I'll, I'll come back with another video about this. I'm taking pictures and I'm doing other stuff. Yeah, I'll tell you about that later, okay? I feel French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Bye.